Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and in today's video, I am going to review some products from O2O and I don't have a full face of makeup using the brand O2O but I think I have I think I have five to six products from O2O. I have the O2O Contour Duo. I'm gonna use this as my contour and my highlight. And probably I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow as well because I don't have eyeshadow from O2O. This is how the Contour Duo looks like and I got the shade Soft Brown. I also have their microfiber sponge. Then I also have the O2O Rose Gold Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and Velvet Lip Light. And this product reminds me so much. Wait lang, gulo ng hair ko. This product reminds me so much of this uh, Lancome lip product. You shake mo siya, tapos magbimix yung product. And here, meron siyang parang ball inside. And I also have these lip glosses. Ang dami kong lip glosses from O2O. This is called their, ano eh, ano to? Lip, liquid lip. So, most of them may shimmer sila. Gusto ko dito yung mga light shades. I ordered this because I want to use this for when I do special effects makeup or like creative makeup looks. Kasi yung may mga weird siyang colors, like has colors na kakaiba, like this one, like violet, yan. I can probably do a yung, like universe makeup with that. Some of them wearable naman, pinks and mauve colors. At least we have a few products to try. So I think we're gonna start with the microfiber sponge. And the first time po marinig yung word na microfiber sponge is from Juno sponge. I tried it a couple of times and so far okay naman siya. So this is my mixture. I'm using my Sace Lady palette. So mix ko lang siya with my finger. Hindi ko light. Still light pero okay na rin yan. And I think I mixed the perfect shade. So yung gusto ko sa sponge na to is the be blend niya foundation and at meron siyang microfiber so it acts also as a brush, so yung sponge part niya helps um, spread out the product. Pero what really blends it in is yung mga microfiber niya. You know how when sometimes nagalagay ka ng foundation, so first you apply it with a sponge, tapos um, you'll get a brush, and then you'll blend out more with a brush. So with this one, you don't need a brush anymore kasi nga meron na siyang microfiber that really blends everything easily. So yeah, so far I am loving this sponge and to be honest, matagal na tong nakatago sa cabinet ko pero ngayon ko lang siya na try ulit and you know what, I'm really happy na ginawa ko tong review na to kasi if not, siguro nalimutan ko na tong sponge na to. And for some reason, it really really blends my foundation really quickly. Iba talaga yung blend niya as compared to a regular sponge like this. Itong sponge na to, pwede mo siyang gamitin ng dry or pwede mo rin siyang gamitin ng wet. And of course, just like a regular makeup sponge, it also doubles in size pag basa siya. So, I personally like to use it pag basa siya because it doubles in size. Mas malambot siya kapag basa. So, I'm using it like that. Guys, itong sponge na to pala, you can use this for powder, for cream, for liquid. And I think maganda siyang pang bake ng face kasi para siyang may mga small brushes. So if you're gonna bake your concealer or your under eyes, okay siya. Natry ko na rin siyang pang bake and it works really well. Ayan, wow. For under the eyes, ganda rin siyang pang blend. Um, Na-notice ko na hindi niya masyadong inabsorb yung foundation in my concealer I don't know like I just feel like it gives a really natural finish feel ko kasi sometimes pag gamit ko yung normal sponge lang yung product nasa taas lang ng face ko like it's just sitting on top of my face per this one like it feels like it's already dry sometimes if you're using a wet sponge na ganito yes it's damp pero nag-iwan siya ng like this really annoying moisture like when you touch it parang hindi niya pa nasa set yung foundation with this one, it absorbs the extra moisture that you don't want. So, yeah, I like it. So now, when I touch my under eyes, hindi na siya slippery um, like what usually happens with a normal sponge. So, I like it. I think I'm gonna use this more often now. Na absorb niya yung mga extra oil na nasa foundation. So, kapag oily yung foundation mo, some of it, some of the oil um, na pupunta na sa sponge and just gives you this really nice velvety matte finish. I think I'll give the sponge 10 out of 10. So, sinet ko lang yung foundation ko with AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder in the shade Translucent. And now, I'm just doing my brows. 
uh, wala akong brow product from O2O. But any brow product will do for now. And now that I'm done with my brows, um, we're gonna move on to the black, the black gold naked... Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Minsan nagugulan ako sa mga names. Yung brand name nila, maliit lang dito sa side. Tapos yung word na black gold naked, super laki. So I don't really know... Is it the same? Look at the two face. You will see first the brand name and then the name of the palette. And this one naman, ang laki ng name ng palette Pero yung brand name nandito lang. Ito yung packaging niya. And the naked word reminds me so much of Urban Decay. Ang dami nang gumamit ng name na yun since after Urban Decay Naked Eyeshadow Palette. But yung shade na gamit ko is soft brown. So yeah, may, may metallic side yung box. Something na notice ko about O2O products is yung packaging nila maganda. They use a lot of metallic and like rose gold packaging like this. Isn't that so nice, right? For a very affordable product, I think their packaging is spot on. So, meron siyang two shades. And ito hindi the first impression, guys, kasi nagamit ko na to. Like most of the products nagamit ko na. Actually, there's no first impression here. Uh, nagamit ko na lahat sila. So, it has two shades. Um, ito, supposed to be a contour, pero I use it as a bronzer. It also has this highlight shade, which I think is really, really nice. And you know what, guys? The thing I love about this is the powder is really, really, really finely milled. So, ito yung shade niya. Ito yung soft brown, guys. Like, when you touch it, it's probably the softest powder ever. You won't feel the grains of powder, basta super smooth lang nung texture niya. Oh, my gosh, it feels like it's melting on your skin. Yan yung contour shade, and this is the highlight shade. And the highlight shade, guys, the texture is super smooth then. And look, it's super pigmented, diba? Nice. If you're gonna use this as a contour, medyo warm shade lang siya. Pero okay lang for me. Um, it still works. I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow and a bronzer as well. And probably use the highlight shade to highlight my face. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use this one brown. Hope you can touch this kasi super super lambot niya talaga. Siguro gamitin ko na yun siya to contour just a tiny bit. Medyo warm siya for my nose. Pero okay na rin yun kasi wala akong ibang choice kundi ito lang. Then I'll put na rin under my eyes. So kinocover ko yung eye bags ko but then I'm putting like eye bags again which is weird. I think ilalagay ko yung light shade on my brow bone and um right here on my eyes. So the lagi kasi sa brow bone ko, look at the highlight shade guys. How pigmented that is. So actually first time ko lang magagawa na makeup look using white on my lids. This is something that Marilyn Monroe would do. She puts like a light color on her lids and then like a brown on her crease. I'm just gonna take another palette just to darken this up, I'm gonna take the dark brown right here. And then I'm just gonna be putting that on the outer corner just to give it a little bit of depth. Next, Mary Tang eyeliner. It's called their Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Super simple name, nothing too complicated. And guys, this eyeliner, you're gonna love this. I think it was my isa sa mga favorite kong eyeliner. Guys, super nice. Rose gold and I like the white and the rose gold. Um, combination. Ito yung eyeliner nila. Medyo nag-fade na yung O2O because I've been using it. But yung packaging niya reminds me of um, Dior products. This is my Dior lipstick and the tip reminds me a little bit of Dior. So I think medyo inspired by like high-end packaging to. Yeah. Ganda ng eyeliner na to kasi super fine tip niya. And it's a brush tip. It's not like a felt tip. Brush siya na super super fine and thin so you can make the thinnest line pwede kang gawa ng super thin lang na line na ganyan or you can make, even make it fat how you want pero yung gusto ko sa product na to is hindi siya nagda-dry ng shiny super pigmented niya, super black um, it's also smudge proof yung gusto ko dito is hindi mo na kailangan siyang balikan for another layer one layer lang okay na it didn't cause irritation on my eyes. I have used eyeliners na talagang namaga yung mata ko. And if your eye starts to swell or have like an allergic reaction to an eyeliner, 
it's the worst thing ever. So, pag naglalagay ako ng eyeliner, I like to just put the wing like that. And you're gonna want to look straight kasi sometimes when you do it like this, and then you apply the line, when you look straight, hindi pala maganda yung shape ng wing. So, what I like to do is just relax my face, put the wing. Mas madali tong method ko na to if pigmented yung eyeliner nyo like this one. And I actually really, really, really love the brush of this kasi yung very fine. Ang dali ko na makagawa ng wing eyeliner. This is just the easiest eyeliner to work with. Super black niya, as you can see. I hate eyeliners na aside from it leaves a glossy finish, you will feel talaga na nagka-crack siya on your eyes. It's very thick. Pero this one, even if you apply layers and layers, hindi siya kumakapal. So, I think ito yung carry ng look today because I don't have much going on on my eyes. So, see? It's just like a breeze to work with this eyeliner. One layer lang, okay na. And even if you layer, hindi siya mukhang makapal. So it's really nice. I really do recommend this and I rate this product definitely 10 out of 10. So wala akong mascara from O2O. I'm just gonna use this lashes. And I think after that, I'll apply bottom lashes and then we're gonna move on to the face and the lips. Since maganda yung eyeliner and it feels like it's really set on my eyes na, kung naglagay ka ng eyelashes, Sobrang dumidikit yung eyelashes na pas feels like may magnet yung eyelashes if you're going to apply false lashes. As in, dumidikit talaga yung, yung lashes. So, I'm gonna show you guys. When I apply my glue, wait for about a minute before I apply it. I wait for the glue na a little bit tacky. And then, ilalagay ko na siya. Feels like it has magnet as long as you apply it correctly. It feels so secure on my eyes right now. Like, even if I pull this, I feel like each and every part of the lash band is sticked on my eyes na. And yeah. So for super long wearing lashes, all you need is nice glue and long wearing good quality eyeliner. Super impressed talaga ako sa eyeliner na to. And if I were to compare the quality of this, siguro comparable siya to a Maybelline eyeliner or Revlon, L'Oreal, ganon. We're gonna go back to the face. I think gagamitin ko siyang bronzer today. And then just bring it forward like this. And guys, very subtle lang siya. And ang texture niya, I love everything about this. Hindi siya namumuo on certain parts of your face. Especially if you set your foundation really well. Like the good thing about bronzer is you can bronze your face if you ever choose a foundation na super light. Actually, yung foundation ko ngayon medyo light siya. So ang ginagawa ko ngayon is nagbabronzer ako so that hindi siya ganun ka-white. Because ayoko nang masyadong white na face. And uh, may mga nagko-comments sometimes sa videos ko na yung face ko or yung foundation ko masyadong light. And hindi ko siya ginawa on purpose. Um, actually, yung foundation na yun usually looks okay naman in real life. Pero once it's on video, nagmukha siyang light. Although, yeah, medyo light siya, pero hindi siya ganun ka-light as what you can see in the video. But yeah, of course, uh, I always need to choose a foundation na ka-shade ko but, you know, when you're shopping for foundation, you don't always get the perfect shade. But you can always fix it with a little bit of bronzer, just like what I did right now. So, I am now going to apply my blush right there. It's like a Barbie pink shade. And this is what I'm going to use for my cheeks. Actually, now that I'm doing O2O makeup review, I actually wish that I had more products to show you guys. I'm going to use my Real Techniques... Um, setting brush. Guys, this is a staple um, makeup brush. It does almost everything. You can use this as an eyeshadow brush. You can use this to highlight your face. You can even use this to like set your under eyes with. It's just, it just has so many uses. Let's say you want to like lighten your under eyes. You can really do that with this. So let's compare this side. Kung sana ako maglalagay na shade na to. And you know what, guys? It has a little bit of shimmer in it. I hope the camera will take it up. It has shimmer, very, very slight shimmer on the white one, on the highlight one. I don't know if you can see that. Wait, let's watch. Are you guys going to be able to see it? Hopefully, you can see. It has shimmer, but very, very, like, micro, mini 
shimmer na you can't even tell. So once it's on your face, hindi mo naman siya makikita at all. Yeah, I can see it. You guys see the difference between this and this? This is a good brightening powder, guys. It blends beautifully. Hindi siya namumuo on certain spots as long as you really set your foundation really well. But it's just so easy to work with. I still haven't had any problems with this since I started using this. And until now, it still gives this really beautiful finish. And I just wish that they have another shade. Or maybe they have, but I just don't know yet. But I feel like I just want like a more natural shade. Like, probably like a skin tone shade. Because this is like white. Like straight up white shade. Or yeah, it's white. It's not even a cream color. It's just straight up white. But I wish they have like a skin tone color. Like more natural. So I can use it to highlight my under eyes. And the rest of my face maybe. I'm so in love with the formula of this, you guys. So, highly recommend, definitely, highly recommend, definitely 10 out of 10. For lips naman guys, I have two options here. So, I have the glosses. I have yung Velvet Lip Light. So, ito yung very similar to uh, Lancome packaging. So, oh my gosh guys, ang social ng packaging. What do you guys think? White and rose gold. One of the things that stands out about this brand is yung packaging nila. Ito yung three shades na meron ako and it's so funny kasi magkakamukha sila. It looks like isang shade lang sila but I swear these are like three different shades but um okay this one I don't recommend this already like I know it for sure. I have tried this a couple of times and there are a few things I don't like about this and there is only one. The only thing I like about this is the packaging. Ang, ang ganda ng packaging guys. Oh. Oh my gosh. Like the rose gold. Like I just love everything about this packaging. Super beautiful. And it has weight to it, you guys. It doesn't feel cheap talaga. And when you shake it, there are beads na, like beads um, that mix the product. But all of them have that goal. A matte liquid lipstick that wears comfortably without drying out your lips. A water-in-one emulsion that's formulated with a patent ultra-thin film technology to deliver weightless texture in a second skin feel without sacrificing intense color payoff and it has vitamin E for comfortable non-drying wear. Like I said, you meron yung Lancome na ganitong product and um, yeah, ito siya, may sponge and then, wait lang, how am I gonna show you guys? So meron siyang sponge tip na ganyan and uh, this is actually not the typical lip product that we all are used to but okay like even now I hate I hate the smell of this like I don't think I'm ever gonna use this just because of the chemical smell and inside it has three holes inside and the weird thing about this is that even if you shake this as hard as you can like the sponge it's not absorbing a lot of the product like even if you like spend five minutes shaking this that's all you're gonna get that's it like that small little product there and you really won't get like a good color payoff at all it's, there's the shade um, msl04 Ugh, i hate the scent Ugh. what's the smell of this for you peach like peach mm. Mm. but uh, like chemical peach. chemical right the chemical peach and um, they have other shades. Unfortunate that I got the lightest shades. Because <laughs> so almost attacking the cookies now. That is the shade MSL02. Shades are super light also and they look like they're gonna wash me out. Ugh. Gosh, my gosh, my gosh. That's just so bad. Lightweight siya. I give it that. But... Ew, it tastes like clay, you guys. Or it tastes like glue. Oh, I think I need to spit. Ew. First, it's a little bit oily when you apply it on your lips, but it sets into this very beautiful, um, lightweight matte finish. But then, I just can't take the chemical smell, can't take the uh, chemical scent. But if you guys have no problem with that, hey, who am I to judge? 
but this is a no for me only because of the smell and the taste. No problem with the idea of a sponge tip like this, but I really wish that they made like the hole a little bit bigger on the opening here so the sponge will absorb more product. Yeah, I would rate this, I don't know, like probably 2 or 3 out of 10. That's really low. Like That's actually the lowest that I gave a product. Should I go for this or this one? This might look too bright. Or this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for something that will make my face brighter. No. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one. This is like an, an orangey. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Guys, like I never use this. These lip glosses are so good if you're looking for a metallic lip gloss. I'm going to give you guys a few swatches. So this is the shade uh, 10. It's this very metallic lip gloss. So, so if you guys like metallic, you're definitely going to like this. It's extremely metallic. It's a gloss. Um, it's not a liquid lipstick. But it's a more pigmented lip gloss that is metallic. So this is the shade that I'm talking about that is not wearable. But I can totally wear for like a crazy creative makeup look here this is the shade 06 and it doesn't have a name only a shade number they actually don't smell much which is nice they don't have a weird taste or anything they actually don't have any taste okay. and gagamitin kong shade is number 10 uh yeah metallic siya, so i might look crazy i'm not Okay, if you guys want me to be completely honest, I am really not feeling this lip. I don't know, like I don't feel like this lip combo fits me. So I'm just going to erase this and as fast as I can, apply my regular lip tint and then add like one of the glosses again and then I'll be right back. Mmm. You like? Mmm. Soft, right? Yeah. Wow. Also, this has a um, brown filling, not white. Mm. Wow. Right? The other one is white. Yeah, it is brown. Yeah, there you go. Gave finally a little bit of life to my makeup. And then, I think I'm just gonna choose a lip gloss dito na hindi masyadong pigmented. Using the shade, ano lang, 03. I think I'm just gonna apply that. Oh my gosh, that is so intense as well. Okay, I'm just gonna apply that on the center of my lips and that's it. I'm not even gonna spread it out anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's all we need. Okay guys, so I'm finally done showing you guys the products that I have from O2O. I'm gonna say to you my favorite products go from O2O. So first is the microfiber sponge, guys. This blends my foundation really well, and it's still very soft, still very fluffy. And guys, I have like 10 backups of this, which I'm happy that I did. Yeah. I think this is my number one favorite. This is the O2O Contour Duo. Yeah. The only problem that I have with this uh, is the shade. Wait lang. Do I have a problem with the shade? Yeah, I think if I can find the same palette with a different shade, like, I wish uh, it has like a light banana shade here and then like a more cool toned brown. I am definitely going to buy that. And then I love this eyeliner. Ang ganda no eyeliner na to. You guys have seen me use this. One layer lang and super black na siya. It doesn't irritate my eyes. Uh, very fine tip. Uh, very fine brush. Very fine thin brush. And like I said, it's very easy lang to make like a thin line. You can make it thicker. I'm not gonna end up with a very, very thick line with this. Because like I said, the brush is very, very thin. And basta, ang ganda ng formula niya. And I really, really do recommend this eyeliner. This is kind of a long video kahit na wala naman ako masyadong products from O2O. So can you just imagine if I have like full face of makeup? Or maybe I just talk a lot. I'm not sure. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my O2O product review. If you guys have any product from O2O na favorite nyo, kung meron na kayong holy grail product from O2O, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I'm really thinking of doing a full face of O2O makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys again next time.